In this video, I'm going to be showing you 100 celebrities that have been turned into a Funko Pop. From athletes to comedians, musicians, and more. I'm not kidding, this video won't end until I show you all 100. So, let's get started. Dr. Seuss, holding his most iconic book to The Cat in the Hat. When this first released, I'm going to be honest, I actually had no clue what he looked like. Colonel Sanders, now that's finger licking good. There's also a golden version of him that you can only get inside of a bucket of of chicken. I know, kind of odd, but it makes sense for Colonel Sanders. Steve Irwin, with his iconic crocodile in hand. I just wish we also had a Robert Irwin because it's always fun to watch his videos. Jack, I mean Johnny Knoxville, but we still don't have a Steve-o. Everyone's favorite superhero, Stan Lee. Funko even created a version of him in a super suit. And there's not just one, there's actually a couple different versions with one of them being worth over $10,000. Sailing the high seas, we have George Washington crossing the Delaware, as well as some other historical figures. Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, John F. Kennedy, Jackie Kennedy, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, and Jim Henson? With Kermit? Eh, I guess he's pretty historic. Now, someone let me know, who the heck are these two? Well anyways, for number 15, we have Edgar Allan Poe with Crow. Hey, that rhyme! Wait, it's a raven? Nevermore. Jane Austen, and if you don't know who this is, uh, ask your mom. For anyone who doesn't care to get up, she wrote Pride and Prejudice, as well as dozens of other books before your grandparents were even born. Stephen King, the author of so many spooky novels you've probably heard of. The Shining, It, Cujo, Carrie, you name it. Ooh, Marilyn Monroe, pulled right off of a 1954 New York City street. Was everything black and white then? E equals Albert Einstein, that's all I've got. But hey, he was great in Oppenheimer. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye, the science guy. A staple in any science classroom, and I remember watching him so much in school. <laughs> Mark Hamill, who actually has a few figures, even one of him as the Joker. Looks like this next pop is gonna take you down to Flavortown. It's Guy Fieri. Look at that flaming shirt, spicy. Also one of my favorite shows to watch on the weekend, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Oh, and flying by, looks like it's the legendary Daredevil Evil Knievel on his motorcycle. I love that the figure looks like he's just about to make one of his most iconic jumps. Ninja. This figure definitely doesn't have enough movement. Oh, now this guy definitely has enough movement. It's Richard Simmons. Now, if only I could find the tape of sweating to the oldies, I could really get moving. Actually, going back to Ninja, it would be neat to see other content creators as pops because at the moment, it's really just him and maybe you can count Bella Porch, but I feel like she's more of a musician. Here comes Walt Disney chugging along in his very own steam engine to the Magic Kingdom where you can actually find this exact train traveling around the park every day. Now, I just thought of this, but Funko, can you make him at the fire station on Main Street? That would be amazing. Lil Wayne with his Lil Funko Pop. Look at how small he is. As well as 21 Savage, Quavo Takeoff and Offset, Migos, a group I never expected to see in my collection, but they are definitely welcomed, especially with the amount of detail on the trio. Post Malone and J Balvin, who by the way still owes me $80. Ooh, Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac. These two are of course newer versions, but the originals were part of the first set of musicians back in 2011, over a decade ago. Now who's this rolling in? It's Ice Cube in his Chevy Impala. Custom made with his own license plate and take a look at those rims. Rivers Cuomo, and if you're not sure who this is, we also have Dead Mouse sitting on a box of records, Louis Capaldi, which actually released for his hit single, Someone You Loved, and now here's an interesting combo. Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg. I wonder who would win in a, yeah, never mind. BTS. For all of the K-pop fans, we have every member. RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. Speaking of music groups, there's also Josh and Tyler from 21 Pilots, Mark Hoppus, Travis Barker, and Tom DeLonge from... Where are their clothes? That's a bit better. Get ready to bring the whole ocean. It's D 
DJ Khaled. By the way, he is one of the only pops to have the Jordan logo on his shoes. Not even Michael Jordan himself has that. Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon, Machine Gun Kelly, Johnny Cash, <laughs> the most random group of musicians I could find. Dolly Parton. She kind of makes me feel like I'm at the Grand Old Opry. And that banjo is great. Not even Kermit has one like that. Elton John. Now, where did Steve Irwin go? This is him sporting his greatest hits outfit. I feel like probably one of the best to be popped. Ooh, the king of rock, Elvis Presley. Tiger Woods, Arnold Palmer, Venus Williams, Muhammad Ali, Sidney Crosby, Lionel Messi, Jackie Robinson. The first African American to play in the MLB. You can also find a Chase version where he is completely gold, which I feel like is pretty fitting. Kobe Bryant, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis. And now that I'm looking at the three of them, this kind of feels like a slam magazine cover. And funny enough, here's Shaq's. Whoa, LeBron James and Michael Jordan, the GOATs. Speaking of GOATs, we have the 2023 Denver Nuggets starting lineup. Jamal Murray, Aaron Gordon, Nikola Jokic, Contavious Codwell, Pope KCP, and Michael Porter Jr. This is the first time we've actually seen most of them as pops. Bob Ross, the animal-loving painter who is just a joy to watch. With his pal Hoot the Owl too. I mean, come on, look at how cute he is. And speaking of artists, Keith Haring, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent, Van Gogh, and Price, the actor and art collector. Oh, you know, he was also in The Great Mouse Detective, remember? <laughs> Donald Trump, and just chilling at her home in Cedar Rapids, Hillary Clinton. Gabriel Iglesias, and some other people that'll make you laugh. Jeff Dunham, Joe Coy, Ellen, Jerry Seinfeld, Conan. And if you're wondering why he looks like this, these were actually given out at Comic-Con when he had shows there. He even crushed one live. It's a long story. Each figure has showered with me, Conan O'Brien. Wow. And we're in a drought. <laughs> yeah! And since we're on the topic of Conan, I'm pretty sure he has the most figures out of anyone we're talking about today. Wow, Queen Elizabeth with one of her many corgis. <laughs> She's not the only royal you can add to your collection. Most of the other family members have also been popped, including the royal wedding from a few years ago. Now for my Five Nights at Freddy's fans, we have Jason Blum. Was that Freddy? Oh, and for directors, I can't forget Jordan Peele, Taika Waititi, and Alfred Hitchcock who just like Marilyn Monroe makes me feel like this entire thing should be black and white. And racing into 99 and 100, we have Sergio Perez with Lewis Hamilton. These cars here are some of the most detailed Funkos ever created. So there we go, everybody. 100 different celebrities as Funko Pops. And of course, I've got to ask, which is your favorite celebrity that's been turned into a Funko Pop? Because there are hundreds and hundreds of them. But with that being said, that is pretty much everything for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.